What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. So, yeah, another day, another That Park Place article. All right, with John F. Trent once again talking about this racism stuff going on in the video game industry. It seems like this shit is just starting to ramp up more and more and more. All right. And Elon had his comments on it. Uh, Elon Musk reacts to Xbox Global Marketing Manager's objectionable comments. Uh, Elon says it should not be acceptable for any company in the gaming industry to be racist and sexist against white guys. I'll go a step further and it shouldn't be uh, acceptable for any company in any industry. All right. To be racist or sexist against anybody, period. That's how it should be. You know, like, why are we still dealing with this crap? This is the thing that kind of pisses me off, especially that it's in the entertainment industry. Look, we're seeing it right now. Like racism and sexism against white guys is just pretty much at an all time high in the entertainment industry. Whether it's video games, whether it's Hollywood, it doesn't matter. It's just just out of control at this point. These cats will just continue to push that. narrative. Oh, you know, uh, white guys. Yeah, we got to figure out something else with them. All right. Let's start trying to pump up all of these other cats. You know, DEI is like the name of the game at this point. That's why I keep saying, like, ultimately, the end game of DEI is just racism. All right. It's just really racism at the end of the day. You could try to color it up and, you know, pretty it up any way you want to. This little pie in the sky ideology. Oh, no, it's about diversity. It's about, you know, we got to make the unheard heard. You know, we got to get some representation going. No, it's just racism, y'all. It's just you hate white guys. That's it. That's all. You just hate white people and you just want to see them brought low. Point blank, period. End of story. I'm tired of people dodging it. Let's just call a spade a spade. It's just racism. OK, like Elon is saying, it's racism against uh, white guys. You know, and it's like if again, if you do the switcheroo game, it is easy to see that it's racism. All right. Like, here's the quote from this chick. All right. Uh, this chick, what her name is, Kelly Lombardi. So here's the quote that she posted up on Twitter. Right. Bold as brass, too. Like, they don't even think this shit through. They just post it because they're unafraid. All right. Because racism against white dudes is the name of the game now. She says, yeah, raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games. Now, again, do the switcheroo. All right. Raise your hand if you're not a black woman. Raise your hand if you're not a Latino male. You know, like just add, add, change the races around from white man to any other race. And I guarantee you, people would be up in arms. Everybody would be coming after your ass trying to burn some shit down. And they coming after her too, okay? Because what happens after you post some dumb shit like this? Yep, got to lock up the account, okay? You got to lock it all up. Oh, these posts are protected. You know, they can't just sit there and take that L, all right? Like, I wish there was a rule, to be honest with you. I wish Elon Musk would institute some sort of a rule that said, yo, if you post dumb shit on Twitter and it starts to get ratioed to hell and back, yeah, we can't, we ain't letting you delete that shit, <laughs> you know? We ain't letting you delete nothing and you can't protect your post too bad, all right? If your shit was unprotected before that, no, you can't do nothing. It, it, that's it. There it is, all right? You got to sit there and hold that L for 24 to 48 hours or whatever, you know? Or you can call in or whatever. Oh, please, can you delete this? It's like, nah, I'm sorry, ma'am. Okay, you broke the dumb shit rule or whatever. You posted dumb shit. You got to sit there for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can delete it. But you got to eat that shit for the next 24 to 48 hours. You know, something like that. Elon, make it happen, bro. You know, because, I mean, that would put an end to a lot of this crap. People would have to start thinking, all right, before I po post this crap, and then no hate to white dudes. It's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist. And I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? What is this? What are you talking about? This is the crap that really pisses me off because I don't understand what you are talking about right now, chick. Like, do you think like minorities are fighting to prove existence? Like, is that really what you think? Where are you getting this from? That's why I always ask all your brothers and sisters out there and anybody else that's a quote unquote underrepresented minority or whatever you want to call yourself. Are y'all coming to these idiots? Are y'all coming to these punks and asking them to do this for you? Because where are you getting this from, Kelly? Right? Like this chick right here. Where is she getting this from? Which one of these motherfuckers is asking you to be their champion? Oh, can you please fight for my rights to be to exist? Who is asking this idiot for this crap? I just don't understand that. This is like the same thing when I talk about race swaps. Who is asking for these damn race swaps? Hey, Disney, can you take these white characters and swap them into black characters, please? We would also appreciate that. Ain't nobody asking for that crap. I don't know a single black man or woman 
or Latino man or woman or any quote unquote underrepresented group, minority, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't even like using these words, but just so that I can play into this nonsense. I don't know anybody that's asking for that. OK, any self-respecting person asking for it. Let me put it that way. I don't know any self-respecting black man, black woman, Latino man, Latino woman that says, yeah, I need some race swaps. OK, yeah, I need this chick right here, Kelly Lombardi, to go out there and fight so you can prove that I exist. I'm like, what the hell is this? Who put you in charge of that committee? Like, I, I, nobody's asking for this crap. You're making up some bullshit in your head and you're running with it. And then when you go on Twitter and you post it, oh, nah, shit, nah, I gotta, clock, gotta lock my account down. It's like, fuck, man, stop. Please, just stop, okay? Take about five, six, seven steps back, okay, before you go out there and post dumb shit on the internet and, like, just think, like, all right, nobody's really asked me for this, you know? And look, if the only people that talk to you about this are some woke morons that you met in college, you're probably going down the wrong path. Kelly, I'm just going to let you know that. You probably went down the wrong path, okay? Because the majority of people that live in this country, I can speak for this country, can't really say for other countries, but the majority of people that live in this country, they don't ask, they're not asking for this. They're not asking you to be their champion. They're not asking you to come on the internet and make some dumb ass statements. Nobody's asking for you to do this. And then when, when you do do it, don't lock your shit up. I wish, I mean, I swear, I wish Elon would just break that rule out. Like, nah, too bad. You got to hold that L for at least 24 to 48 hours. And look, read the comments in your dumb posts. All right. You put a dumb post out there. You need to, you should be forced. Nah, you need to read and respond to all of these comments. All right. Before you get your shit, you know, where you can delete it. All right. You got to respond to at least like 25% of the posts or the comments that's in here, you know. And then once you hit that tick, okay, now you can delete it. Because at least now you have to have a conversation and explain your stupidity. And well, I, I didn't understand what else. You know, you got to do something. All right. Instead of just, oh, shit, I'm getting ratio. Delete. Nah, I, 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 it, there's got to be a way. Okay. <laughs> and this person is savvy artist. Uh, why did you feel the need to phrase the tweet like this? Why can't you just say, raise your hand if you like games? Are you aware the largest demographic of gamers is Asian, not white men? What fight is happening today? Like, yo. I, I have no idea, chick, um, um, savvy artist. I have no idea what this chick is talking about. I don't think anybody understands. I don't think she understands what the hell she talking about. She just out here running her mouth, trying to look good in front of her friends or whatever. She got some minority friends, some underrepresented friends or whatever. And she trying to look good in front of them. You know, I got your back, girl. Don't worry. I'm going to see what the non-white people think about blah, blah, blah. You know, instead of actually just actually talking to people and saying, yo, let me just see. I'm going to post this thing out there and let's see, you know, on the back end if, you know, underrepresented groups come in. Like if you was really interested in like a minority viewpoint, that would be a more honest way of doing it. Instead of trying to tailor the conversation around the white people that you see that's going to be problematic or whatever. Right. You know. But it says, yeah, the post was screen capped by YouTuber The Quartering, who wrote, meet the global head of marketing for Xbox. And that's when it was uh, Ashley St. Clair who came in. Uh, this is a massive problem right here. This is a massive problem. Plus, it's widespread throughout the entire gaming industry. It's the gaming industry. It's the entertainment industry, Hollywood, everywhere. OK, everywhere. This racism is just like absolutely insane. Uh, so then uh, that's when Elon Musk reacted to Ashley St. Clair's post writing. It should not be acceptable for any company in the gaming industry to be racist and sexist against white guys. It's just amazing. Like we're still doing this shit, you know, in 2024, because, you know, like I said, we had licked a lot of this shit in like the 80s and the 90s. Like a lot of this stuff was over and done with, man. That we were finished and then like we were moving forward. But then I guess like the race hustlers realized, oh, shit, uh, I can't make money off of victimhood no more. You know, I can't use victimhood as a way to, you know, make some bread or, you know, get special status. So, yeah, I guess we better throw the victim cards and the race cards back out there. And we got to drum this shit all the way back up so we can continue to, you know, get our hustle on, you know. And it's sad, man. It's like the idea that you need diversity or in order to have diversity, you got to bring down white guys. You know, we got to bring white guys down. Like, how are you improving anything? You know, you know, like like even if you were to think on that level, it's like, yo, if people are if somebody is up here, let's say you think white guys are up here, you know, then, yo, I need to raise my game. I need to raise my standard up. I'm not trying to like kneecap these guys, bring them down. So now they're even with me. Like, how is that helping anybody? That helps nobody. I don't understand this concept, right? 
You well, we got to knock these da- these white guys down a peg or two. All right. Instead of you just focusing on what it is you need to be doing. No, you're going to try to knock it down. Yeah, it's the white guys. You know, it is. It's straight up racism and it's straight up sexism. I mean, I just don't understand it. Yeah, and then when you come to Twitter and just start reading like some of the responses, uh, Cabrutus says, as a former Xbox guy and as someone that still holds the brand in a special place in my heart, I must say that I'm glad I decided to move over to Steam. Yeah, because this is what it is, man. All right. This is what it is. This chick Kelly has absolutely, you know, stuck her foot in her mouth and then she locks her account. It's just it's such coward this too, man. Why are you being a coward? Yeah, again, that's why they need to <laughs> they need to institute that rule, Elon. Then Grums comes in. Uh, this is what Elon was talking about. When Microsoft and Xbox's global marketing manager starts off with no hate to white dudes, you can fully expect hate to white dudes to follow. Yeah, exactly. You know, this again, it's that telltale sign. All right. Oh, this is racist. It's probably racist. And then here's Vera Dark. Uh, if Kelly Lombardi, a global game marketer at Xbox, had simply said there's room for everyone in the gaming industry, I would be 100 percent supportive of that statement. Most would be. But she only said that after denigrating white men and pushing a victimhood mentality. How pathetic. Yeah. So, you know, she came back with this post right after she locks everything up because then she locked it all up. She says, I deleted my last tweet because it was poorly worded, lacked context and didn't accurately reflect how I feel the gaming industry industry is incredibly diverse and the more voices we have creating watching and playing games the better there's room for everyone yeah I, again the whole point of you making that post in the first place it's just some sort of a weird ass virtue signal who is asking for you to say all of this and do all of this shit okay you nobody is asking you to be their champion all right to stand up for the little like we're good we good all right This statement right here is a dumb statement. And then you immediately recognize the problem in the statement, which is why you said no hate to white dudes. You immediately, before you hit send or before you hit post, you recognize, okay, this is a problematic statement, you know? So I better follow it up in parentheses with no hate to white dudes and this whole nonsense about minorities having to fight to prove they exist, okay? You recognize that this was a problem statement so this is why i don't even buy this nonsense right here oh I, you know it lacked context it didn't accurately no it you said exactly what it is you wanted to say okay you said exactly what you wanted to say so i don't buy it <laughs> all right they need to leave these posts up they need to let these people eat these l's and just eat them all right because look it only took her how long to get that thing it's time of 5 27 p.m Yep, like an hour and 10 minutes later, taking it down, okay? I got to take this shit down and write a retraction. Again, it took an hour for you to recognize that. No, you knew it was problematic from the beginning. You put this little thing in in parentheses, you know, trying to cover your ass didn't work, okay? We seeing through all of this shit. Kelly, knock it off, okay? Nobody's asking for this, all right? Anybody else watching, nobody's asking for this. We didn't ask you to be our champion we are very capable and and i like i said i hate even putting myself in that category but at the end of the day you know no minority nobody period needs to have some you know white chick or anybody for that matter anybody speak on their behalf okay you speak for yourself and let us speak for us and you just get on about your world and your life or whatever and just market video games okay you're bad at this okay you're horrible at this shit Okay, just get out there and start marketing video games before Microsoft fires your ass. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about this situation. I think this is just absolutely out of control at this point. All of this push for racism and denigrating white dudes. It's just getting out of control. Okay, and these companies need to start locking this crap up. All right. It's just nothing but racist garbage and it needs to go away. All right. Racist and sexist garbage. All right. It's absolutely ridiculous. But you let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.